Mark William Hoffman, born on December 7, 1954, was an American counterfeiter, forger, and murderer. He was known for his ability to create extremely convincing documents and artifacts, some of which he sold for millions of dollars to museums and private collectors. His forgeries included Mormon documents, letters from famous historical figures, and even rare books. Hoffman was born in Salt Lake City, Utah, to a devout Mormon family. He was the third of four children and grew up in a strict religious environment. From a young age, he showed a talent for forgery, creating fake excuse notes for school and later forging his own high school diploma. He attended the University of Utah but dropped out after his first year to pursue a career in forgery. Hoffman began his forgery career by creating fake coins and selling them to collectors. He soon realized that there was more money to be made in forging historical documents and artifacts. He focused his efforts on Mormon documents, using his knowledge of the church to create convincing forgeries. He would create fake letters and documents and then use chemicals to age them, making them appear older than they actually were. Hoffman's forgeries were so convincing that he was able to sell them to some of the most prominent collectors and museums in the country. His most famous forgery was the Salamander Letter, which he sold to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, LDS Church, for $40,000. The letter was purportedly written by Martin Harris, a key figure in the founding of the LDS Church, and contained references to a mythical creature known as a salamander. The letter contradicted the church's official history, which claimed that an angel had appeared to Joseph Smith and led him to the golden plates that contained the Book of Mormon. The salamander letter caused a great deal of controversy within the LDS church, and many members began to question their faith. The church eventually decided to buy the letter and keep it out of the public eye, fearing that it would cause even more turmoil. In 1985, he claimed to have a collection of books related to the history of the LDS Church and he wanted to sell it to the church through Steve Christensen who represented the church. Hoffman agreed to the job but soon realized that Christensen had become suspicious of him and was trying to uncover his forgeries. In an attempt to protect himself, Hoffman created a bomb and placed it in Christensen's office, killing him instantly. Hoffman then created another bomb and placed it in front of the home of an associate of Christensen's and the bomb killed a woman named Kathy Sheets who was the wife of Christensen's business partner. The bomb was meant to distract investigators and make it seem like Christensen's murder was part of a larger conspiracy. The bombings caused a great deal of fear and panic in Salt Lake City, and the police launched a massive investigation to find the person responsible. Hoffman initially evaded suspicion and continued to create forgeries, but he eventually made a critical mistake. He sold a forgery to a dealer who suspected that it might be fake and had it tested. The test revealed that the document was indeed a forgery, and the dealer contacted the police. The police arrested Hoffman and searched his home, where they found evidence of his forgeries and the materials he used to create them. They also found the equipment and chemicals he had used to create the bombs that killed Christensen and Sheets. Hoffman eventually confessed to the bombings and was charged with two counts of murder and several counts of forgery and theft. During his trial, it was revealed that Hoffman had also forged documents related to other historical figures, including George Washington, John Adams, and Abraham Lincoln. Hoffman's trial was one of the most sensational in Utah's history, with the media closely covering every detail of the case. Many people were shocked to learn that such a successful forger had been living among them for so long, and the case had a profound impact on the way that people thought about historical documents and artifacts. It also brought to light the dangers of obsession and the lengths that some people will go to in order to achieve their goals. In the end, Hoffman was convicted on all charges and sentenced to life in prison. He is currently serving his sentence at the Utah State Prison in Draper, Utah. In conclusion, Mark Hoffman was a forger, counterfeiter, and murderer who made a name for himself by creating some of the most convincing historical documents and artifacts in history. Despite his talent and success, his obsession with deception and his willingness to use violence to protect himself ultimately led to his downfall. His story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of obsession and the importance of authenticity in historical research. If you love this video give it the thumbs up, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until we see you again, have a good day.